I think just watching them these these past few games, and I know we keep going back to you know the the screens that he's able to set, and like just even these basic pick and rolls that he runs, like with Pascal, you know, with Fred or Gary in the action. Like it does feel like there's a there's just an added element to you know what what he can bring on on the offensive end right and again mm. it's a lot of stuff like we were reading his box score like you don't really see that right you know i think defensively there is an adjustment and it does it does bring me back it's interesting him talking about the different styles you know in san antonio and here and it, it does bring me back like i know you're talking about it on friday too just about how this defensive scheme of the raptors just haven't been as flexible as maybe they should be mm. depending on like game scenarios like, if you want to maximize what you want out of Jakob, like, don't you want to put him in these different situations where, you know, maybe he does play this, like, high-risk, high-reward type defense, but also have him play some of that drop coverage, you know, in, in certain situations like the fourth quarter against Utah. I just feel like if you're bringing in someone to fill in a position at, at center like this, don't you want to just maximize and see all the ways that you can utilize him? Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that brings into the idea of, like, what are you bringing a player in for? Are you, mm -hmm. are you bringing them in to change the way you want to play? Or are you bringing them in to enhance the way you want to play? And right. I think that Jakob can do both here in Toronto, but I actually would prefer if he changed the way the Raptors played a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, it doesn't make as much sense to me um, to, to, to still pressure as much on defense when you have someone at the back like Jakob who can make a lot of plays. Like, we saw him make a, 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 a number of steals and blocks at the basket mm -hmm. yesterday right in the paint and and he's clearly very smart on that front and then offensively yes he's good at screen and screen and roll in the sense that he can really get um you know the ball handler free going downhill and um you know obviously he's a target down low as well so they can find him um more often and and i think the two games here they've mostly found him on pick and roll scenarios and i think they've actually been able to defeat him occasionally there but are there more opportunities to sort of give him the ball in the middle of the floor, let him run the dribble handoffs, let him, you know, um, not necessarily attack through the post because he's not that aggressive of a player, but, um, you know, be able to 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 let other guys attack off ball and introduce more movement and flow into the offense. Because, again, I think that's it's not part of the reason why you bring him in. Right. Right. right? And so we'll, we'll see. Like this, again, we're, we're saying this right now with them having had one practice in between these two games. So we'll see. Obviously, this will happen more post trade than our post All Star break. Um, but I'd like to see the Raptors continue to use Yaka Proto closer to the way San Antonio used them.